part two of the Metal Masher Trail in Moab, Utah. This video is gonna be a crazy one. Widowmaker is on the menu for Crushicon and limits are gonna be pushed for all of us this time. So stay tuned, here we go. So we are actually, you guys right now, we are actually at the gauntlet. Um, so let me just kind of turn around and show you what's going on. So that is the gauntlet right there. So that's what we're gonna do. Walk up there and we'll show you what's going on. So typically what you do is just, well, essentially it's kind of a road now. It tells you exactly where to go with the black marks, but you put that tire right here. Let's try right here. Just kind of pop up you guys, there. Guys, just so you know, this is not really one of those that you typically can, typically can crawl. And to be completely honest with you, it looks like it, but it it really isn't. It's it's kind of more of a roll through a slight roll through obstacle. A little bit of a bump, and up he goes. Oh yeah. <laughs> probably want to stand right here. Okay, Austin, you're going to get your tires up on that and then you're going to you're, put your lockers in, bud. Put your lockers in. Make sure it's in one. <laughs> Woo! And that is how the gauntlet's done by a 13-year-old boy in his mom's Jeep. Done. No idea. No issues at all. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's good. How are yours working? Give it some goose. She might have to back it up. Nice job, Andy. I don't know why. Don't like the jumping. Okay. If you can just get over that little ledge right at the bottom, right here, then you'll be golden, I think. There you go. Now just, yeah, just give it a bump. Nice. Didn't have to bump it. Nice. Good job, babe. Beep, beep. beep. Dominated. Huh? Yeah. Nothing. I think I'm gonna try that left line. We'll see what happens. There we go. Nice. But yeah, that's yep. It's it's a wheelbase thing. Definitely a wheelbase thing. That's what I did as I backed up, babe. Um, I think 
she'll be fine. It kind of slid her in a good spot though. Very nice. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Very nice, dominated. Dominated. Whatever, those are not underwear. I don't know what that is. So that sorry to be so graphic, but there were some we're stains in those puppies. I think they were stains. What did you not get? Great, some but underwear? I'm pretty sure it's from somebody that pooped their pants on the way up the obstacle. <laughs> now we have a pair of long johns and probably a pair of underwear, like literal underwear. Go for it. Do you need somebody up there to spot you? Okay. Okay. That's it. Very nice job, babe. Good job. Yeah, you're about in working speed. Yeah, come forward. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. All right, now back passenger. Yeah, passenger. Okay, right there. Keep it straight for a minute. Start going passenger. Passenger. Yep. Looking good. Yep, come back driver there. Looking good. Looking good. Keep coming. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, come driver, come driver. Yeah, right there, keep coming, keep coming. You wanna see how fast it really went? I was a pro at this, watch this. Perfect. Woo, good work. Let's come on up where we're at. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. Yeah. Stay passenger. Stay passenger. Stay passenger. Stay passenger. Stay passenger. Yeah. Stay passenger. Start straightening out. Come back now. Come Come driver. Hold up. Hold up. Don't go too far. Pope's over here killing it. Yes! Nice job! Very nice. That was awesome. Epic! There she goes. A bit. So, I don't know. She has the 37s. I have 38s. Um, TJ's got 40s. And uh, Hope and the Gladiator also has 40s. So, we're gonna. Hopefully just be able to put a tiny little cheater rock under it and it'll just get her up and over. <laughs> I got that on video. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yes, nice job. Yeah, dominated. Woo, woo. No one stole my Jeep this time, so I'm gonna pop back in and we're gonna drive up to the Overlook. So here we go. What's up, Mini Dominator? My son. This is so awesome. If you stand up here, you can like Dad, see. Dad, you are really on a cliff right now. What? No. I don't need a Christmas present. I'm not worthy of one. Three. Go off. Nice job. All right, now that lunch is over, the overlook is over with. Now it's time for some more fun. Here we go.
All right, who wants to see any of the Dominators out here with us? Put some tires on Widowmaker. Say hi. Yeah, we'll see you in a minute. Okay guys, so we are actually turning right. Um, this is actually where the adventure begins for Metal Masher at the end of the trail. And that is um, called Little Maker. So here goes nothing guys. Seriously, like this is some serious stuff. It's crazy. So here we go. You guys, this is the obstacle that is kind of gatekeeper to um, Widowmaker and I think the reason I was so weirded out is because when you come up you're looking down at um, you're looking down at this and you're just hoping that these boards don't give way because look at this I could not keep my okay with any of that I was not okay Oh, I was fine. I was not okay. <laughs> my back tire was in this little hole. Right. Yeah. This little spot. Oh, it's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it scared the shit out of me. Like, you want out? He's like, well, we'll tell you something. Seems okay. So, the other thing is, is they've got, you, you've got this grating right here and so you have to stay away from it because there is um steel poking out so this is not a line that you can take um because you will cut a sidewall or puncture your tire and that leads to a very bad day Passenger was the last place that I wanted to turn at this moment. That is a cliff on that side. You come, stay driver. You're good. You come, you come. Sorry. All that was going through my mind is please don't rain. Please don't rain. I was starting to picture Crush Con like sliding off of that hill right there. So it was really nerve wracking. You'll off camber into a void into the abyss. You'll be just fine though. Don't worry about it. You're good. Don't worry. That's not how I was feeling. You're fine. She can go dead. You can go passenger a little bit. You're fine. Go passenger a little bit. In front of you.
that was 21% off camber right there, you guys, where I was freaking out with voids in railroad ties that you could see straight down the cliff that your tires were supposed to drive over and they were supposed to hold you up. 21%. Holy crap. I almost was going to be adding oh poopy underwear to the bag right along with those other long johns we picked up. So here comes Randy, guys. <sighs> Man, that was just, that was a whole, whole nother level, guys. Like, legit, look. So that's what you look down into coming up. <laughs> That is where it gets just freaking fucked up right there. Because as you can see, guys, look at this. Right there, that's like, that doesn't look sketchy at all. I mean, there's one rock holding all that crap up right there. I'm pretty sure I saw a beaver build that about three months oh ago. Gosh. Ha! It's a beaver dam. Yeah, that took just me kidding, a guys. to be okay coming up that, and I do not know why, you guys. <laughs> Found it! I always drop them. <laughs> all right, guys, so here we are. This is um, called the Widowmaker. And, um, TJ, stand next to it. As you listen forward, you guys, you're going to find out Pope in the Gladiator 40s is actually going to tell you the exact percentage of you angle go. that you are on when you are on this particular obstacle. It's crazy. So wait for it. You can't like send it in like... If you, if you end up hopping over here, you're in a bad situation, so, I don't know. He got this. Why do you have a all right there? I feel like they should be here. Yeah. Well. Mm -hmm. But yeah, once you're up and going, like, if it starts... Rolling, maybe it, it maybe way. it hops you over and those rocks stop you from picking a tire or something. You know what I'm saying? People have tried, it's almost like people have tried it going I would think that was for your driver's tire and they're going right here yeah 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 I mean I don't know what yeah because mm -hmm. you can climb because they're like in the this. center there's no way so what the fuck and then this one evens out and when you get back here your backside comes down but and then you fucking hope that <laughs> well, the fucking you nothing back goes out, weird back out of that. You do right. are you, you gonna try it Randy you get your butt on no <laughs> no, you'd think they'd be right there. This and right here. Kind of makes sense to me right here. It's that ledge and all that shit right there on top of that. That's like what I have to do after I get up that fucking hole. Right. That thing. I that's, mean. Like the, that's like yeah. the little monkey. That's the, that was the whole thing about the little monkey. But I think the thing here is, it's like, you guys, this is like a, this is like a, Freaking ice rink. Yeah, there's a winch point. Like, this shit's like an ice rink. Yeah, no, I'm saying, Well, I'm glad you don't feel like it's that bad. My Jeep's probably not going to like it. But that's the next thing up here. But I feel like once you get up there, then. Let's see it. You would have the rocks to come down to. Not a good idea. Yes. Okay, so you guys, that is the winch point, right? Right, 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 right there they is the winch point. That hole's so big. Little monkey. Well, the little monkey, well, little the middle monkey like, like a... you can reverse, but the only thing I don't like, like if that wasn't there, I wouldn't mind like hitting it and going for it. Cause right. I can always just let out. But if I get up to a point where I'm at and I catch on that, I'm in, I'm a world of shit. I tried it, and it just kind of goes back to that whole thing of, okay, now I'm going to know so what my Jeep is. Right but I do right. want to know what the angle is once you're up there. I do too. 
Aren't you interested to know what the angle is? Yeah. I'm way interested. No, he said that this is the way. Now, keep in mind, you guys, with our Cherokee, um, we did reinforce the back of our Cherokee with uh, flat plated steel around the back window. But the weakest point in these Cherokees are the front windshield. So if it did roll without the roll cage, we, there's a huge chance that he could be extremely injured. This is the Widowmaker, guys. I am shaking for him right now at the moment. Yes, that's our 13 year old up there. You guys were wondering who's standing up there. Austin is giving him some guidance. There's a lot to be said about my husband trusting our 13 year old son. He is incredible. You guys, if you've never seen a Cherokee roll and the devastation from a Cherokee without a roll cage, you ought to go check out one of our other videos in Vernal. It actually happened to one of our friends. Very, very lucky individual. No way. Your front end is so light right now. guys just a really good an idea of like the angle of this like and he's not even all the way at the top with his tires yet you guys this is insane sky come here right now come here come here God. how you feeling babe yeah, I need my suck down ones, man. I found a hook it and I don't think so, man. I think it's like a, I have to sound it pretty good. Yeah, I don't know if I need to be over further that way. Or... Sky, get out of the way right now. You like a, you, you kind of 12 inches, man. Yeah, serious. Well, what do I have on you? You're 132. Are you gonna try it? Mm -hmm. You are? Right, this yeah. is gonna be interesting. The front end of that vehicle is really fucking light. So, because he's got so much weight back here, his front end is literally, it's its literally picking up like this. Like the, you can tell like the suspension is opening up in the front end when he goes forward. And it's like the, the difference between where he is now and then when he goes forward between these two right here, is massively different and that's how you can tell the vehicle is getting really light in the front end. Being light in the front end also means how much force would it take to you tip that thing over if you put your hand on it to pick that tire up and throw it back. There's just no that's also what it means as well. How much more further can you go before the tires actually pick up? Up, Jeremiah, help you with an LS in there. <laughs> Serious. Or roll cage. So what the suck down winch does is it, it pulls that his whole body down 
so it holds the weight of the front end to the rock. So oh. that's why he uses a suck down winch. Um, and his regular winch works as, we should probably get out of the way, it works as a, Sky, come here. It actually works as a um, suck down winch and a regular winch, and so that's the problem right now. He can't use, it's gotta be either like one or the other, unfortunately. Come here, Bill. Yeah. Austin, I don't want you by that winch, though. I know. Okay. Thanks for your help, buddy. Like, you need to get way out of the way. And that's not enough. That is not enough. Sorry. <laughs> if that fucker breaks, that's the bad news. Okay, pull in, TJ. Right there, pull. Oh, yeah, you can see how right. See what I mean? Pull. Suck in. See, it did suck him right over there. TJ, you need to turn passenger, bud. Turn passenger. And suck in, turn pa hard passenger, bud. Suck in. Okay. Holy shit. It's even challenging with the winch. Right. Steve. How effed up is effed up? That is effed up. Even more effed up? That going up. That is even more effed up. So I'm gonna winch. You guys don't judge me. I think that this will be the steepest I think I've ever had Crush Con on. So we're just going to be safe and here we go. All right, my dear. You're still going to want to watch this though because you'll watch my reaction to how I handle it as well because this off-roading stuff I learn every day and yeah, I will do. always admit that I learn every day. The minute you say that you aren't learning up there and you know exactly what you're doing is when shit goes wrong and I'm just not that person. So I'm a very humble individual and I will always say I'm learning and I have no shame in winching. So this is also going to be taking me to a different part of you know, my bravery as well. So you're gonna see this in a minute. Yep. So I'm about 114 to about Mine. 115 in Krushikon, and he's about 110 in Chewy. So he's about 110 in Chewy. So um, I've got about four to five inches on him, but that doesn't matter um, because that is that that is a massive obstacle right there. And where we only have a few of us out here, if something happens. We just need to be safe about it. So the big concern when you go up this, you guys, is, and it, and it actually happened even with a winch attached to it, um, it actually dragged his whole rear end into this rock right here, you see. And so what ends up happening is, is if, you, if you cross over into that, there's no backing up. And if you do have to hit reverse, you're going over because that boulder is massive right there and it will just, you will back up over it and then it will flop you over. So that is why a lot of people, it's just, it's very hard. It's, it's one of those that you can put tires on just to get the feeling of the angle of your vehicle. But at the same time, I'm not going to be doing anything of that nature, but I will be actually winching up it because it's great. It is a great experience to get yourself in that angle in your Jeep, still having a, a nice safe cable attached to you and to be able to get the feeling of your Jeep at that kind of angle for that period of time 
it's massive that thing is massive and maybe one day i'll do it without a winch but as of for right now i will be using a winch you guys 1000 percent that's crazy awesome I've taken some pictures. You want me to back off this thing? Do you realize I'm five foot nothing, barely able to touch the pedals, just sitting in it while I'm it's level? Okay, Babe, good. backing off is not always great, but I did shove it in neutral and it did help a lot. Even winching up this for me was a big deal because I really got a really solid feeling on how it is to have your vehicle on that kind of angle. And not just that, but you know, it it warms you up for those other times that maybe there wouldn't be a winch point. Maybe somebody would be towing you up there if you couldn't get up or something. So I'm just getting the experience right now of some of these larger angles. And as things progress and as I get better, I'm sure I'll be more willing to try things. But I just wasn't prepared for this um, type of angle without having a safety net on. And if that meant me going up with my winch and my gas pedal, so be it. That's how we did it. So I'm really glad I made the choice that I made. And I kind of conquered a fear that I never thought I would ever be doing. So to even just put my tires on this is a big deal for me. Bounce over there, you can't reverse back out. You'd be screwed. <laughs> gonna send it. I'm not gonna send it. I'm gonna try to crawl it. We'll get your tires up there and see how high they are. And I want you to go so you dig out the ground for me. For my tire. All right, that's Pope talking, you guys. Um, once his vehicle on the Gladiator gets up there, he is the one that's going to tell you what the angle is. You guys are just going to be shocked to find out what that is. So here we go. All right, you guys. Oh, he's hard on it. Next time? Yeah, well, I mean, you should be able to drag you through, right? Fuck, I don't even know. Well, it's just the it's just the toe hitch. The, the toe. Yeah. Can. Yeah, all right. <laughs> oh, he hasn't even got to the ankle yet, huh? No, no. Nope. What's your angle? Thirty-eight percent, and he's not even to the rock, you guys. Thirty-eight percent, and he's not even to the rock. A thirty-eight percent incline. So the problem is, is he's hard on the back, so. He can't even go any further. It won't let him. Really to get up because you I'm have stuck. a soft shackle yeah. right here? Huh? You have a soft shackle? Uh, in my... If not, yeah. I'll run grab mine. I'll go grab one. So, um... Okay, I'm just gonna keep on... How's that feeling at that angle, though, for you? Does it bother you? Not terribly. We're gonna see how... Tell me how you feel when you get closer to the rock. Hey, oh, TJ. Ch can you throw it? Can you throw it? Yeah, go ahead, chuck it. Chuck it. Bow. Yeah. Nice. Bow. So, TJ's gonna go hook that winch up really quick. Um, and then I'm just gonna try and stay out of the way 
that is synthetic cable but again the thing that's on the end of that is not synthetic <laughs> so if that does break um typically the synthetic cables just will drop to the ground which is nice um more than a lot more than you know the the steel cables so they're so you know as bad but they're still if they okay stop when he gets to the rock what Okay, what is it? 40, 43%, you guys. That's 43%. TJ, he needs to turn this way, babe. Have him turn my way. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. He wouldn't have made it all the way up. No. You did. You scooped all the dirt up. Thing is, yeah, maybe after you bought the bed, we'll come back. Yeah. Dude, I'm not even like look at that. Like Holy shit. you just like pulled enough you dirt pulled enough to like dirt to us, though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, look at that. That is a huge amount of dirt. Oh. That's bigger than the pile of dirt or rocks that is actually t um, currently in the hole, which is hilarious. Yeah, I have his, uh, his, his remote. Oh, do you, are, is your battery dying? I think Hey, you guys, Randy is going up Widowmaker now. Hey, you can see me. I know, hey, here, 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 here. We're checking to see what the angle is. percent right now but this isn't a jl so we're gonna see if it changes because she's gonna be able to get all the way well well no because she's shorter so technically it might show that it's steeper so i don't know because you think that like you're to the rock and then he goes keep going keep going no keep going no just keep going and go and go and go and go <laughs> you're like does it stop <laughs> you might do an ass stand is that what they call it an ass stand I'm gonna call it an ass stand from now on <laughs> good really good um, no, actually, it's not at all. You're really good. You're clearing everything back there. So that's perfect. All right, Randy. Here it goes. I'm going to step back. Okay, Randy. Slowly drive up to me. I'm driving up. A little bit, driver. Okay. Yeah. Right now she's in the dirt with her bumper and tire. So that's the angle you're at. 35. 35, 35. really? Okay, and he was 40 right. something. 43 well, for you. Light gas, I'm just going to pull you up. Ready? next time because there will be a next time um now that i've been on the angle i know what my jeep feels like on like a 38 percent to 38 to 40 percent angle it's um you know that like yeah it's not going to do an ass stand because that's what i call them as an ass stand you're not going to do an ass stand 
And she even gave us a little bit more of a shovel for us. And no ass stands happened, which is great. So I just need a better roll cage. I most definitely need like that is like my number one thing that I desperately need. And I don't like, I just need it to be functional. Um, it's a big deal to me because safety for me is huge. So it's really good. I'm just, I'm actually extremely proud of myself that I put tires on it. Even though I winched, it's one of those things that you start to get to know your vehicle. And even though I winched up, um, I still push my own personal limits and that's huge to me. So um, next time, I might give it a little go and then winch after one time and then maybe next time I'll give it a few more goes. But um, as of right now, like this is kind of a whole new level for me. So um, yeah, you guys remember that I, you know, I used to be absolutely and utterly horrified by the easiest of things. Um, we're talking fins and things here, which is rated like a five or a six. Um, uh, you know, it's it's just, it's one of those things. And um, for me to even put tires on something like this um, is huge. I mean, it's, it's, it's a very big thing for me. So um, I just like to do things safely. And I guess I'm kind of that kind of person that's like, oh, I'll do that obstacle the safe way, like this way first. And then if I come back out here um, and I kind of know how it happened with the winch and then this way, you know, next time then I'll do a little something more to kind of push my, my limits a little bit more. And hopefully one day, Crush Foot Con will be getting up this puppy without any assistance at all. Um, but everybody did make a funny joke. They said, technically I got up it under my own power because it was my winch. But anyways, that's not the case. I did not get it up on my own power and neither did my husband. So um, we're going to jump off you guys. I'm going to go up there and just talk with everybody and get their feedback on how they felt about all this. I'm going to show you guys one quick thing. So the, the big problem, not the big problem, but the big thing about this obstacle is, well, number one, it's 38 to 43% degrees. angle degrees. And if you kind of look from the side, um, it kind of goes in and then you've got this rock right here. Yeah, Austin will show you. It's it's literally like a little notch. So what ends up happening is as you go up, and this actually happened to TJ as he winched up, it happened to me. And um, as you get up on this, it actually tends to like slide you over. And then the problem is, is that right there, this angle is, I don't know what that angle would be. That's probably like 48%, this little, Thing right here so it kind of pushes you over and then if you were to try and guess out of this um, without the right suspension and everything else you would roll back over this big huge boulder and then it would boop, plop you over so it's just kind of a, a lose-lose situation if things go horribly wrong and they did kind of go um, the wrong way even though he was winching and so thank goodness the winch was on that because it didn't go very well so um, but anyways yeah that was our Widowmaker experience and I'm just happy that we are all up safe and good and Pope how you feeling good yeah I'm pretty proud of my hole I dug dude this hole is really impressive I'm trying to bring more dirt to the, to the bottom yeah right, right? to the bottom and then more space for long Departure. Long departure angles. He's helping. He's helping all the gladiators and the long trucks that come up here. Light bars are going on, guys. Rock lights are on, and we're going to be out getting out of here in the dark once again. Hi, Sky. Hi, Goblin. You guys, this is part of just being out in the wilderness, out in Moab. It's very common to kind of get misplaced. So, where does it say Trail that we and, are? There's and, Widowmaker. We're right here. And then, oh, so yeah, I think we gotta go all the way back to, this, to the start of the start of the trails. Yeah, yeah. I, I've just never come out this high before.
So you guys just be really careful when you're out here and make sure you're looking at signs or for signs if this happens. We do have a GPS with us and we're just double checking everything. But you guys, you can get lost out here so easily. Look at this. And this is actually, this is really bright right now. Um, when it gets dark out here, you guys, you can't see your hand in front of your face. So just know that um, we all have rock lights, so we are all ready and prepared. Yeah, babe, let's so go. let's rock and roll. I'm just doing a closed video for this because it's nighttime and you can't really see us otherwise. So I just want to thank you guys all for checking our channel out. Thank you so much. Um, also, I do hear that. Go forward. You guys, we just finished Metal Masher. We actually um, passed from that way. We're now going to pass what was the start of Metal Masher from today. But I just have to say thank you so much, you guys, for checking out the channel. Um, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, you guys. I just also wanted to shout out all the people that keep us trailing. Um, Red Rock 4x4, Mishimoto. I also want to shout out my off-road Vixens um, team as well. They're incredible. Um, you guys, I also want to shout out uh, Custom Offsets. Custom Offsets Off-Road, you guys are absolutely incredible. Off-Road Articulation, just a few of them. They really keep us out here in the trails. And number one, my husband works. Me and my husband and my young son work really hard to keep these rigs maintained and ready to go. So next time we go out, which is all the time, they are ready to go, ready to get on the trailer and ready to go hit the trails. So we appreciate you guys checking out the channel. Have a great day and uh, don't forget to dominate. We'll talk to you guys later. Take care. I don't care if my winch cable is on attached to it as, as I'm going up for a video because then I can tell everybody to I put my tire. <laughs> Hey. Go, babe. Why are we talking rubbers here? That makes no sense. Just kidding.